Yes! 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 All those moments will be lost in time. What's up, Universe, and welcome back to the web's first must-see comic and culture show. Welcome to Comic Universe. I'm your host, as always, the kingpin of comic culture, C-Dubs. And guys, I'm riding solo on this video, but we're talking about Tom Cruise and the role of Green Lantern Hound Jordan. I'm excited about that. I know it's not official. I know he's just up for the runnings, and I do kind of find it funny that I posted a thumbnail with him as Green Lantern with possibly James Gunn directing that movie. Um, and there was a couple of people like, no, no. And I hope I didn't start this rumor, and I hope it's more than just a rumor. Um, and no, I did not make that image, and I know it's been on the internet for a while, so clearly I didn't. But how funny would that be? And anyway, so... I'm excited about this news. I hope it comes true. I hope he is Hal Jordan. I hope he comes in, kills it, crushes it, and kills all the naysayers. Now, I know more than half of you guys out there are already like, Dubs, you're crazy. This is the worst news ever. And to that, I say you're absolutely wrong. And here's why. Hear me out. First and foremost, the dude is a top-notch, professional, perfectionist actor that does a majority of his own stunts. Okay? And... Even <clears throat> Henry Cavill, Superman, is championing this because he just got done working with the dude in Mission Impossible, a Fallout, and that was a great movie. And the last three especially have been phenomenal. And those last three are the ones where he's had the most hands-on, if you will. Okay, so to that I say, just look at what he has done in that regard. Okay. Then we have the naysayers go, oh no, he's too old. Well, to that I say, age ain't nothing but a number, son. I was like, look at RDJ, Robert Downey Jr. over in the MCU. He's pretty old. Look at Samuel Jackson, pretty old, still doing it, still doing his thing. We don't need Hal Jordan for 20 years, okay? We just need Hal Jordan to come in, set the groundwork, Okay, and then we have John Stewart, and the list continues. Okay, we have a legacy, a plethora of legacy characters in the Green Lantern mythos that would fit the MCU for you, or I should say the DCEU, or DC, Worlds of DC, whatever they want to call it. I'm going to call it the DCEU up until, you know, we start getting those spin-offs that are one-offs, if you will. But anyway, just for the sake of this video, DCEU. Sorry, anyone who doesn't like that. Anyway, so the fact is he would be the best actor, hands down, out of everyone involved in the DC uh, EU as of now. And some people go, oh, but Ben Affleck, great actor, you know, doesn't get his just dues, okay, but that dude is not in the same caliber as Tom Cruise. This guy's a proven, platinum-performed actor. This dude is top-notch, box office draw for years, for years. And sure, he's had his fair share of flops, okay? But 90% of those flops turn out to be cult classics after that. If, if you ain't, you know, you have these in Hollywood, you have flops, cult classics, and then obviously your box office successes, right? If you, all of you, if the majority of your flops turn into cult classics, you're still in the win. That means the home video market, okay, DVD sales, Blu-ray, whatever, okay, latched on to you, your fans latched on to that movie and have shown its success after its run within the theater. And most of his movies that turn out to be dog poop turn out to be instant classics in the cult side of things. Now, again, with these naysayers about the age, Robert Downey Jr. in the MCU is, you know, is about, about I would say about the same age. Um, I'm not quite sure exactly, but I would say they're pretty close in the same age. So if Robert Downey could do, do it, Tom Cruise, who's in better shape, okay, is still doing at believable action movies, okay, and doing his thing, okay, and is respected by so many people in Hollywood, regardless of his religious beliefs and how crazy he is for, for jumping on couches and how controlling he may be in his personal life. None of that matters when you're on the screen. That, that control turns into perfection. You know that he's a perfectionist on screen, okay, on camera, on set. Um, so I think this would be good news for them. I think, especially after how bad the last Green Lantern movie was. And let me just backtrack for a second. 
I was someone prior to that movie that said, man, if it's in the pages, there's no way Hollywood can't just rip it out, make it make sense, make it make look good. Okay, if that made any sense. Um, and up until that point, I believed that full heartedly. Then I saw that movie, and though there were some things about it I liked, okay, and there was even one or two things about it that I loved. Sinestro, there, I can't believe there would be anyone who could do it better. I really can't. Okay, and he looked phenomenal. Okay, Kilowog, Michael Clark Duncan Jr., home run. Okay, perfect casting. Okay, it's the voice I hear even before I ever heard it come out of Michael Clark Duncan's mouth. I visioned him every time. You know, since Michael Clark Duncan just stepped on the scene, I was like, that's the guy that needs to play Kilowog. But, you know, and rest in peace to, the, to Michael Clark. But, guys, truly, 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 that movie was such a stain in my mind after seeing some of the, the slapsticky, goofy things that Hal Jordan made. And I was just like, okay, it's not translating well. It's, this is dumb. And it wasn't just the CGI. It was a mixture of the CGI and the actual, you know, creation, construct, you know, it was just so bad in my opinion. The constructs just didn't stand up. Excuse me. And truly, 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 they want to separate themselves from that movie altogether. And in, in my personal opinion, I don't even think how Jordan is needed. And I, I, I hear everyone, oh my, C-dubs, how did you say that? Why would you say that? It's true. I don't, I mean, I think we all have our own favorite Green Lanterns. And I know just from longevity and historical account how jordan is the greatest green lantern but let's be honest he's not kyle is better okay current you know up until i would say the last maybe five ten years maybe maybe not ten but eight to five years okay even guy gardner i think has been a better character you know with the whole thing with the red lanterns with him it, it, that was good top-notch stuff Okay, and my personal favorite, okay, and I'm sure many people's Green Lantern, okay, especially the younger crowd, Jon Stewart. You know, just based off of the animated series and how well and how he upheld his, his standards in, from the, the animated verse, how Jordan all the way, in my opinion. He's my favorite Green Lantern. And then you have Boz and, and the current Lanterns now that are, yeah, they're rookies and they're doing their thing. And, and that could be the movie we get. It could be about being a rookie. You know, and just, we don't have, we all know the Green Lanterns. It's already been established, you know. Let's just keep going. But if we're going to get a Hal Jordan, Tom Cruise is my number one pick. And I'm going to champion that. Over on the MCU side of things, they tend to get casting time and time again. They go, they get the look, they get the, and the acting chops, if you will. And the comedic timing. They, they, they get it. They got it. Okay, now over on the Warner Brothers side of things and DC side of things and live action, we have, okay, Henry Cavill, okay, looks the part, is not a bad actor, but there is a disconnect. And I know most of it comes from the way the directors, the writers, and the producers, and the suit and ties just sticking their finger in the pot and stirring it, but there is some sort of disconnect between Henry Cavill and Superman. It's not the Superman that we all want. It's a Superman that maybe a portion of us want, a portion of us is, is understanding and getting, and then some of us just downright don't see it. So there is some sort of disconnect, okay? Batman, Ben Affleck, okay? When that news hit, I I can tell you there was a ton of people that just nearly dropped down and started convulsing because of how, why, and you know, he was Daredevil, no. And, and after seeing him in Batman vs. Superman... Overall, not bad. Pretty kick-ass. Pretty awesome. Sure, problems. Now, by the time Justice League rolled around, man, I think he phoned that in. I think it was the biggest phone-in of all phone-ins of all time. I mean, he just didn't... He seemed disconnected, disjointed, and not, didn't want to be in that film at all. And I don't think it was just from the reshoots. It just He seen that it was not well-received the first time, and he was just like, I'm just going to get slaughtered all over again. And he just wasn't really into it. So, there's a disconnect there. Wonder Woman. I'll be the first person to say I didn't want it and I still don't want Gal Gadot 
to be Wonder Woman. But she's done a great job. She has been pretty, more than pretty good. She's been and she is the shining light of the DCEU as of right now. Do I think there are people out there that could look the part better? Absolutely. Do I think there are people out there that could act the part? Absolutely. But she embodies the personality and the caringness side of it. And she's lovable enough to where you just overlook the hard, grizzled edge that Wonder Woman brings, which I wish we had. But, again, she's so likable and she's so cute, if you will, that you overlook that. Okay, so that's fine. But I will say this. There's a big difference between the three movies we've seen her in, Batman vs. Superman, which was such a small role that it might be a little hard to really judge, okay? And then you have her movie, which at least for the first two acts is phenomenal, okay? Third act, kind of wishy-washy in some parts, um, but overall a success. But then we go move on to Justice League, and it was somewhat of a... I don't know. She was kind of all over the place for me. So my question is, is how much of her success is her and how much of it is the director of Wonder Woman basically playing to her strengths, hiding her weaknesses and just knowing where she needs to be in the direction she needs to go and just basically getting the most and the best out of Gal. Um, I don't know. That's up to debate. We can have another video or we could talk about it in the comments below. You know, is it the director that makes Wonder Woman so good? Or was it really her? Um, again, it's up for debate, if you will. But she's been the best. You know, we got Aquaman. Doesn't look the part at all. I get they're trying to just make him more badass. But until he, until we actually see it, it's hard to judge. But Justice League, though there were some funny moments, like when he sat on, spoiler alert, when he sat on a Wonder Woman's rope, that was pretty funny. And, you know, kind of how tough he was i liked but the bros and the my man and I, I didn't get it it was a little too much him jace it's a little much a little too much momoa and not enough aquaman i prefer my aquaman with a little prestige so i i hope we get that moving forward especially since he's going to atlantis learning his roots trying to become a part of his other side his other culture if you will uh so i hope that we get that without that with a, a little royalty to him and a little I'm Aquaman, you know, um, not embarrassed about who he is or hiding who he is or or just this lone lobo, lone wolf, if you will. Um, yeah, but Jason Momoa, it, it, it's the, the 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 it's just out for discussion as of right now. We can't really put our finger on there. The other two, Cyborg and Flash, pfft, I'm not. I don't even care about them too, to be honest with you. Even though I think Cyborg did pretty good. It's whatever at this point. But Hal Jordan, back to the point and topic at hand. Hal Jordan and Tom Cruise, this could work, guys. Let's just be real. He's a good actor. Give him a chance. And should I remind you guys, not just the last three um, Mission Impossibles, but Last Samurai. That is one of the best movies ever made, man. If you've never seen that movie, go watch that movie. That movie, man, the, the camaraderie and brotherhood in, the end, in that movie by the end of it, man, I felt like I could go out there and, and I would ride out there with him, okay? I love, I love, love, love that movie, guys. So check that movie out. If you if you doubt his acting chops, please watch Last Samurai, guys. And last but not least, I just want to talk about the elephant in the room, okay? Yes, he's done Top Gun. Yes, he's currently making Top Gun too. But that alone, and it's not just the Air Force connection and fighter jet plane connection. He, If you really go back and watch Tom T Top Gun, he really kind of feels like Hal Jordan. He's a jerk sometimes. He's a womanizer sometimes. You know, he, he falls in love and he has that girl and he's competitive and he's on the edge and he has to prove a point. I mean, all of this is Hal Jordan. It really is. Sure, he may be just a little older, but look what he how awesome Top Gun is. I'm sure he could bring the same acting chops to that role. And again, I believe that the role of Hal Jordan is more so to usher in the next Green Lantern, which is going to be his protege and or partner in the film. From what I'm hearing, is going to be how is going to be um, Stewart. So I'm good on that. That's what I want. 
Um, and let's just be honest, guys. It's about time we go into space and we get these guys. They need to be a part of the DC um, EU. They should have been a part of Justice League, especially since we had a lantern um, pop up in the in the flashbacks, if you will. Uh, so it, it is kind of disturbing and a little disheartening that he wasn't already a part of the team. But hey, especially since the early uh, photos was, you know, remember those old posters and the old clips? It was Unite the Seven and it, we ended up with just six members. I thought that was kind of strange. You know, I, there was clearly a direction they wanted to go in. I think they wanted to have a Green Lantern, but the suits were like, man, that movie got bashed. We don't want to touch it. And again, the suits were wrong. So my thing is to you guys out there in the universe, to all of nerd culture and geek culture and all my fellow camaraders out there, guys, let's give this a chance. He's not the worst that could happen to that role. I think his perfectionist and his want to do this role will come out on camera and the DCEU needs that. They need someone strong that can help bring them into the future Kind of like how Robert Downey Jr. does for them. I, honest to God, think that he, Tom Cruise, could be the Robert Downey Jr. to the MCU. And they need that, guys. Whether you believe in the dark and grizzled and you're anti-MCU, you can't deny that he hasn't been a good leader and a good role model and a good scout, if you will, patriot for the MCU. He does his job. He does the videos. He does the charity. He does the tweets. He does the, the Facebook posts. He does the Instagram accounts. He shows up everywhere for the interviews. Robert Downey Jr. is the MCU. They've built it off of his back and his personality and his skill. And I say, let's give Tom Cruise a chance if this happens. Guys, be open-minded. You know, even though I'm not a fan of Heath Ledger's Joker... All of us were downing that. All of us were like, this is crap. The majority of us love it now, now, right? Am I wrong? Let's give this a chance. I think this is going to be a home run. And again, where we are in the MCU, it's not like they could do any worse. Okay? And sure, there are some people, oh, Chris Pine. Well, he, he, he can't do it because he's already a character. Some people, oh, Chris Pratt. Well, he can't do it. He's under contract with, you know, Marvel and Disney. Okay? Then you have some, oh, Nathan Fillion. On that note, I go, okay, that might be that might work and that could be good. But he's not a better actor than Tom Cruise. He doesn't have the skills or the chops. He hasn't been around. He doesn't command the, the, the stage and the presence like Tom Cruise. He's not a proven blockbuster like Tom Cruise. He doesn't have a fan following like Tom Cruise. He just doesn't. Let's just be honest, guys. Okay, and I'm a huge Nathan Fillion fan. Okay, I want him to be Nathan Drake more than anything in the world. Okay. For an Uncharted series from Sony. Okay. But that's it. Let's give him a shot. Guys, let's talk about it in the comments below. I really want to know what you guys think. And if you guys are just hating on it for the sake of hating on it. And you're being, you know, a, a sheeple, if you will. Yes, I said sheeple. Okay, just a sheep following, you know, the, the, the internet trolls. And, and the people who are so quick to dismiss this. Let's be your own person. Speak your mind. Let me know why you think this is a bad idea. Let me know who you think would do better. Okay, and I challenge you guys out there in the universe to find, honestly, someone as well-rounded as Tom Cruise for this role. I'm talking proven commodity, blockbuster appeal, good acting, and has already someone who can, you've already can see in that role because he's done the role already as in Top Gun. Okay, sure, you could be like, oh, you know, again, Nathan Fillion kind of feels like he could fit in that role from his, you know, Firefly persona. Yeah, but again, he's not, doesn't fit all the other scopes. And I know a lot of people, oh, an unnamed, you know, a no name, a someone, let's get someone young so we have him for many years. Come on, man, there's too many Green Lanterns to have him for many years. You know, and then Tom Cruise, once he's too old for the action stuff, sure, maybe he could still exist in the universe and just be a background character. Maybe he could stay and he could be the guy, you know, the Martian Manhunter from, let's say, from the, or the Mr. Terrific from the animated universe, the guy who just kind of stayed back and kind of ushered out everybody. You know, let's say that it grows to that point. We can have that. But I say, and I challenge you again, guys, who could do it better? Who do you want? Okay, and tell me why you think Tom Cruise is the worst idea. All right, guys, don't forget to like and share this video, guys. We're so close to 700, man. We're right there. We're like, 
680 something guys come on help us get the seven and please please again like this video if you like what we're doing here on the channel it helps us know it helps us grow and guys until next time i'm c dubs and i'll see you in the universe peace what's up guys please like comment and subscribe on the video it helps us know you like what we're doing